All right, another project I uh, wanted to look into with the Lone Star Armory TX-15 MPC-E 264 LBC rifle was tuning the recoil or gas impulses through different buffer weights and springs. So what I'm going to run through here is a series of shots with magazines loaded at different capacities. So I'll start with a single loaded magazine to uh, see if the bolt will lock back. Then I'll go to a magazine loaded with three rounds to see that the uh, cycling of the BCG will strip the next round and the bolt will lock back. And then I'll go with a fully loaded 23 rounds in a magazine. That's going to have the max spring pressure upward. Uh, being that the magazine's got 23 rounds in it and if the rifle can strip and cycle three shots from there then uh, the gas system is properly tuned. Um, now going over to the different and various spring types you'll notice the one on the far right is shorter than the middle which is shorter than the longest. So three different spring lengths are going to give you three different load pressures, uh, that being um, the amount of foot-pounds it takes to cycle the bolt carrier, right? So the shortest is going to give you the least amount of resistance, and the longest is going to give you the most amount of resistance. And to be able to follow along here in terms of what to purchase, uh, the company Spring Co. has color coded these springs. So the longest one is a red spring. The middle is a blue spring. And the shortest or lightest uh, load pressure uh, will be the white spring. Okay, add to that that there are different buffer weights. So putting these on their side now. The lightest spring, shortest, has the lightest buffer in it, which is an H buffer. The middle blue length spring has an H2 buffer. Heavier than an H, but not as heavy as an H3 buffer, which is what the red spring kit has in it. So I've discussed how I load the magazines to test that the uh, gun can function reliably and how to look for that. I've addressed the different various springs and buffers uh, that you can utilize to um, tune the recoil and gas impulse. Uh, I fully expect that the MPCE will flawlessly run through um, the series of tests with the buffer kits as is and that I'll feel a different recoil impulse from the lightest to the heaviest. Uh, I'll be shooting through a bearing optics prototype uh, prismatic sight and we'll uh, be running it at a 50 yard steel silhouette target. So let's get started. There's lots of articles online where you can uh, read up on why you would want to run heavier buffers and heavier springs in terms of delaying the bolt carrier coming back. Um, 
I'm not an expert on any of that. I just uh, look to see that it can run the, the rifle platform itself is tuned at the gas port size and all the components by the manufacturer and that it's uh, versatile enough to run through the gamut from lightest to heaviest. So far the Lone Star Armory is with flying colors uh, able to use any of the configurations. So depending on your application and what you're trying to do with your rifle, whether that be competition shooting, hunting, match shooting, etc., etc., um, I'll leave it to you to, to kind of choose which springs work best for you. All right, I'm going to start with the lightest spring kit. That's an H buffer, white spring co spring, full open gas on the adjustable gas block. And I am shooting suppressed, starting with the single round. Bolt locked open. Three rounds. Strip, mat, uh, strip from the mag and locked open. Fully loaded magazine. We'll go three shots here. No issues. All right, next up is the H2 buffer in blue spring. This is the middle of the road in the tuning kit. Start with a single round loaded into a magazine. Bolt lock open. Three rounds. Bolt locked open. Fully loaded magazine. No issues. All right, and finally, the uh, heaviest buffer, the H3, with the heaviest spring, the red spring. Final test, H3, red spring, single round, looking for a bolt hold open. Bolt pulled open, three rounds, good, fully loaded magazine, no problem.